Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the second game of our doubleheader for Missouri Valley Conference tonight. We are just back from spring break. This game, uh, or the game before, was rescheduled from spring break, so I have two games for you guys today. Taking on Indiana State here um, in our second match. Uh, match one, dropping into Evansville 2-1. to one. Did find out new information. Um, they're actually 3-0 and now, uh, so congrats to Evansville. The team that we... Um, our play now is actually one and one and the team that uh, we defeated the team that they lost to <laughs> is Indiana State that we're playing now. So a little misinformation there, but um, looks like we will be starting out with cruel on the King K rule this time around, not pizza man. Um, but yeah, excited to uh, try and bounce back after that first match took a tough loss. Uh, Smash team is now one and two. Um, but we will be right back when this match starts, so stay tuned. Should be just a few moments here.
Sorry about the delay, folks, but we are heading right into this one. You have Valpo, Cruel on the King K rule, and Indiana State on the Pikachu. Sorry about the delayed start. Had some issues getting into the arena with some troubleshooting, but we are all good to go now. Solid start for the King K rule getting these projectiles in. Side being neutral, gonna get punished with the forward tilt. Oh, catches the air dodge with the wonder lost. And gonna be a big punish here, able to find the forward smash. Huge kill for Valpo here. So Valpo already up one stock and only down 8% here in stock two. Already back up with the down throw dash attack. Pikachu. Very solid into this King K rule matchup. Has phenomenal combo game. Cruel able to find the forward tilt here. When the last kind of find it. Ooh, able to get that crown returning with the up air. Good shield on the thunder there. Side B from Pikachu. Not going to do too much here in neutral. <clears throat> Dash attack gonna get punished by back throw. Will not kill, good DI, but the recovery does not do it for Pikachu. So up two stocks here already, great start to game one. And Pikachu, unfortunately SDs. So Valpo starting off with a three stock lead here. <clears throat> Looking uh, pretty solid here so far in game one. Cruel on the King K rule, able to find the three stock on the Pikachu, and we will be right back with some more game one action. See you guys in just a minute. And then to some more game one action, Indiana State opting to put in their Terry player here. Cruel on the King K rule, retaining all three of his stocks. Did very solid in game one. That's Terry. Able to find the down tilt. He does have the combo confirm into the... Uh, Oh, but King K. Rule on the returning crown, able to find that forward tilt for a lot of percent. Good shield pressure there. Terry, unique character, one of the DLC Shoto Fighter characters, will always face you. Uh, when you cross him up, he will turn around. So always face you, don't really need the turn around at all but also once he hits 100% not only does he get rage but he also gets go mode 
um, which can do a lot of damage. But able to find the kill before he gets into that go mode, <clears throat> gets to confirm off the down air and the up air. Great kill by the King K rule. Looks for the up tilt. Doesn't have great range on it. Down throw into dash tech will not connect. Okay, with some good shield pressure. Belly armor will do it. Gonna look for a ledge trap here. Able to find it this time. Forward tilt gonna get him off stage again. And unfortunately, Terry will fall. So Valpo up five stocks early here in game one. Carol doing a great job in this projectile game. Terry doesn't have much to answer it. Great returning crown into up tilt. Looks for the back here, not able to find another up tilt. Gonna tack on some more percentage. We'll look for a grab here. Oh, was expecting the cross up. Goes for a backwards forward tilt. Able to get back to stage, starting to utilize that crown of wanderlust again. Able to get the grounded forward smash, and that will take him very far off stage. Oh, and he's able to find him on the ledge trap. Terry in go mode, gotta be careful now. Oh, and that just might do it. And Cruel with another three stock. The Valpo so far up six stocks here. In, against Indiana State. So far, not losing a stock. Cruel doing a phenomenal job. And uh, yeah, looking really solid so far against Indiana State. And we will be right back with some more Game 1 action. Hey, hey, don't be talking trash about Kirby. Kirby's the goat. <laughs> Kirby's sick. Well, we welcome Kirby. back, guys. Um, joining me on the broadcast now is Chris. Ah! <laughs> I haven't Chris. commentated in a while, dude. It's going to be a time. Yeah, it was a little rusty uh, from that two-week spring break, but we are back here with the doubleheader. Valpo with a six-stock advantage here so far in game one. Looking really solid. Cruel on this King K rule has been doing phenomenal. Um... But yeah, how, how's it going? Uh, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Already two good wins without losing a stock, oh. mind you. And he's looking pretty solid against this Kirby, despite being big combo food. Yeah. That Wonderlust, he did turn it around. Would have liked to kind of see him go for the stage trap there with like the stage tech. Ooh. That Able to avoid the low. down air. Good drift there. Oh my god, dead at 84 after the hit. My goodness. Valpo now up 12 stocks to 5. This Kirby's going out there. You can definitely see this guy has a bit more of an understanding of what he's going for. He's yeah. looking for his combos. He knows how to how to kind of edge guard. He's going for win conditions. Yep. Yeah, the first uh, two players for Indiana State, not, not quite as strong as the players we faced at Evansville. But, you know, you never know what uh, Indiana State has in their back pocket player here. Uh, back pocket here. I mean, so. I'm certainly, I'm, I'm expecting something crazy after this. <laughs> I'm expecting something big. I am shocked he didn't go for the down air that time. Okay, Ooh, never mind. Nice back air there. 
Very nice. Indiana State able to get on the board, find their, their first stock here. Good back here, able to read the uh, jump get up. Still a two stocks as well, so not really a closed deal by any means. Okay. And not able to mash out in time, does get forward smash for it. I feel like Weston. I feel like every time I talk, something immediately happens to disprove me. <laughs> every single time. As right. commentator's curse. Uh, at least I'm cursing that team <laughs> instead of ours. <laughs> He's looking real good right now. Getting the blunderbuss ledge trap now. Just committing to the projectiles. It's hard for Kirby to kind of get through this. Say blunt. What is it? Blunder. Blunderbuss. Blunderbuss. Blunder. Blunder. Bus. Blunderbuss. Okay, I was saying that wrong for the entire time. <laughs> I said, I think I said Wonderlust or something like that. Wonderlust. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, to be fair, it's like it's a medieval, it's a pirate weapon. Why are you gonna know what that is, bro? <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> but yeah, Valpo looking strong here in this game one. Only dropping one stock so far, so we'll see if Cool can clean this one up. Um, here's to see who Indiana State throws in next, but I mean, so far the King K rule putting in work for Valpo. Um, what are your thoughts so far on this series? Um, if he doesn't get a 12 stock, I'm going to go in there and fight him. <laughs> I'm yeah, going to be very disappointed. So it would be a first career 12 stock opportunity for Kroll. And um, 12 stock kind of rare too. Um, you see 9 stocks occasionally in the Great Lakes Esports Conference because, you know, it's only 9 stocks, not 12. Um, haven't seen one yet this year. Haven't seen one nope. since I've been here. Um, yeah, these teams are getting tougher and tougher, man. But... Um, Got a chance here against Indiana State. Um, hopefully in game two we can rotate in some more players. Um, mm -hmm. So would like to see that as well. Um, but, yeah, feeling pretty confident if you're Valpo here um, for the rest of this game one. Do um, you have any thoughts on match number one against uh, Evansville? Match number one? Oh, yeah, that was <laughs> a bit of a rough showing. That ZSS gave us a lot of trouble. Yeah, so she took nine stocks in game one, but you guys were able in game two and three to beat her, like in a straight-up 3v3, which was really impressive, um, but that Pokemon trainer was just, like, consistently good and, like, weren't able to overcome that. So, unfortunate loss, but uh, Evansville, definitely a tough team. Looking forward to seeing them again in the playoffs, hopefully. Um, but, yeah, the week... That Pokemon trainer was, he was very methodical in his punish yeah. game. Everything was precise. It's yeah. like as mad, as mad as you get about like dying to like a Nair offstage like Alex did, or I got hit with Nair, Nair, reverse up B offstage. It's like you have to respect it as well because that man definitely yeah. put the time in to learn those combos, get that spacing, and execute it in crunch time. Yeah, that upbeat kills so early too. Because usually when he uses uh, it, you're like in I that top shocked. right, top left already. Yep. Um, yeah. But, um, yeah. So, uh, week four of the Missouri Valley Conference have a total of seven games, I believe. Mm -hmm. Um, and then either top four, or top eight, qualify for playoffs. Unsure of what that's going to be yet, but we'll find out eventually. <laughs> um, yeah. And, um, yeah. So, week four here, catching up with this doubleheader, and we'll be back on track. Ooh, I love this. Interestingly enough, I was looking through the standings. It seems like every team has won a game so far, which is kind of kind of big, honestly. Oh, really? Yeah, I think so every team. Indiana won a game. State is one and two heading into this one. From what I saw, yeah, they are. Awesome. I don't know who they beat though. I yeah, I haven't looked. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I have to admit, the MVC website. Oh, oh 48. That's disgusting. Would have liked to see another cape and a counter there, but... <laughs> <laughs> Why would we just kill him at zero, honestly? <laughs> well, what, what does he need? He's got his PhD. He don't need to be a fighter as well. Woo! Sending him to the Shadow Realm. Already an even game. Oh, my God. Wait, what? Um... Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no. Um, not really sure how to react to that one, um, but that was an official match. And um, unfortunately, um, Dr. Mario seems to have either had his controller disconnected or uh, didn't real f really feel like playing that one out. But nonetheless, Valpo going to take game one here, and we will be right back after a short break for game two.
<laughs> Ain't nobody need to Um, know. so... <laughs> Quick apologies there. It looked like they did not have their tag on. So unsure if they're going to be starting with... Okay, yeah. They're, they're going to start with three stalks here. No issues there. Um, but yeah, that was the reason for the jumping off there. Yeah. Um, no problem. We'll restart the match here and get it going. <laughs> you know, there's sometimes like during like hand warmers or stuff where I just get completely confused with what's going on. And I'm just like, <laughs> try and figure out what's happening. Um, but yeah. We'll be uh, restarting this match and getting back into this one. King K. Rule was doing a very solid job uh, so far. Oh, he's dead. Yep. Dr. Mario, not a great recovery. All right. Seems like the controls are not doing that well for him right now, but still got some time to get back into the match. Yep. Is it even match here? Oh, and the pill. That, that pill reflector that made such a loud noise. I thought it was going to like... <laughs> kill him or something but i just i'm just glad the pill even hit it was such a specific yeah. angle it did 10 damage but it was kind of cool yeah yeah back to an even game here two stocks piece we'll look for this down air again not able to find the two frame oh down smash gets soft hit four till off stage dr mario in a bad spot does hold on to his jump though good recovery He's waiting a bit too long to go off stage with these edge guards i'd like him to start jumping off a bit earlier with the nair instead yeah. of the down air but Still, yeah. he's playing well, playing smart. Yep. K rule off stage with Nair. That belly armor kind of just clanks with anything, so it's extremely good edge guarding uh, tool. But I like what? that drift back. That Doc has a lot of confidence to go off stage against a K rule. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I like that drift back because Doc oh, really no. can't really do oh, much. No. Hey, good tech there, good tech. Doctor Mario able to get back here, and Ben's really fighting for this uh, 12 stock opportunity. Dr. Mario barely, barely snapping back the ledge. We'll go oh, for it again. Gets another tech. Another good tech. This Doc is fighting for his life. <laughs> and Ben is just inevitable right now. Going for the big reads now. He's going for the clip. He wants something saucy. Oh, Ooh, up smash. We'll do it. All right. Dr. Mario. Ben gonna, get a, ben gonna get a bit of a flashy kill? Let's see here. Yeah. I will say, you know, this game is over, but at this point, I feel like we're fighting for pride on both ends. Oh, absolutely. I mean, if you're Ben, you're looking at a huge 12 stock here. If you're Dr. Mario, you want to make a statement for your team here. If you're Dr. Mario, you want to make sure he does not enjoy his time. You want to make sure Ben does not get to have fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which, to be fair, that's how I play this game, so. <laughs> oh, he's dead. Oh, 12 stock. Beautiful. And huge by Cruel, captain of our MVC team. Able to find the 12 stock with King K. Rool. Um, was playing Diddy earlier today, but the King K. Rool looking really solid. Um, so great to see from him. I believe that is, well, it's definitely his career first 12 stock. Oh, absolutely. I don't know how many times it's happened. Um, but the first time I'm seeing it this year, for sure. Um, but yeah, phenomenal job by him. Uh, Valpo goes up 1-0 in this best of three series, and we will be right back um, in a little bit with game two.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to game two, and we are starting off with... What, what's his tag? I don't know his tag. Anyways, with Shulk for Valpo. Woo! Um, someone we've seen a lot in the NECC, has improved a lot this year. I know I've said every person I've like seen go in, I've been like, oh yeah, they've improved a lot this year, but like this man actually has. <laughs> That's the thing is that genuinely, from when Jake first joined this team, he has actually gotten a lot better. I think his, his Discord tag is Jake from State Farm. <laughs> so we'll go with yeah. that. Yeah. But um, anyways, against this Little Mac, Little Mac, not a great character, um, but can be very good if used correctly. Um, really good on the ground when in the air. Uh, very difficult when in the air. Oh, absolutely. I don't know if I worded that correctly. Um, and then also a poor recovery. I, I was talking about this earlier. I fear the strongest low tier over the most <laughs> mediocre top tier. KO punch online, but misses. Uh, he should be good here. Yep. Okay, good. Hmm, not a, really a sizable percent deficit yet, but Jake is playing well, using his aerials to kind of keep Little Mac out, make sure he can't really touch him at all. Oh, and there's the Ooh. Smash Monado taking the stock. First stock goes for Valpo here. That F tilt is just so powerful, especially with Smash Monado. It can do so much work for a person. Yeah, I mean, Little Mac too. Like, sometimes you don't even have to hit him out of the blast zone. If you get him off stage, oh. Um, like that? Like yeah. that? I, <laughs> I was, was scared for him. Yeah, I was terrified. Little Mac getting the forward tilt, getting the shulk off stage. Going to be able to recover here. Not really looking for the two frame. Oh, big F smash though. Taking the stock from Valpo. I will say he's not doing bad, mind you. He's kind of, he's doing what Little Mac should be doing. Keep using his superior movement, kind of walking around a lot. Yeah, he's playing well. I mean, I think the only thing I'd like to see different is maybe, you know, playing on that edge a little more, like when they're recovering, looking for, like, the down smash, even uh, down tilt. Um, but, yeah, playing really solid, keeping uh, keeping it even here, 11 stocks apiece. No, I agree. He should definitely be at least trying to get a little something on the ledge because yeah. it can confirm you into so many kills. Big thing here, though, KO punch online. I mean, that's Little Ooh. Max uh, tide turner for sure. Oh, and oh. he clipped it. Taking the KO punch with the very last hit of, uh, I don't remember what it's called, Air Slash. That's huge. Oh! Wait out the counter. Huge with the forward smash. Able to catch him. What Valpo a bait. taking back the lead here. Oh, no. Little Mac. Oh, oh no. Not able to snap to ledge, and that will do it. Wow. Little Mac playing really solid uh, at the beginning of that match, but unfortunately with the SD at the end, it's going to do it. And Valpo with a two-stock lead um, heading into the next game. The, I, I get confused game. with like game match set, all that stuff. But yeah, two-stock lead here in game two. Um, going to see the Shulk. Curious to see who they throw in next. Also, not sure. I could probably look right now. Um, if that was a player who is playing a different character, but the same person, or if it was just a different person completely. Oh, I see what you're talking about, yeah. Yeah, it's a, uh, that was unfortunate. That Little Mac was actually playing pretty solid, kind of doing some good spacing. And then that one side B, that is the Little Mac killer. You side B off stage, and you just cannot make it back. I hate to see it. So, bands for Shulk are FT, Kalos, and Town, and they selected Smashville, and they're throwing in JT with Kerbo. Oh, we're getting the Kirby again. Yeah, the Kirby. How do you feel about this? Um, I am very unfamiliar with Shulk. Mm -hmm. um, Semi-familiar with Kirby. Kirby low profiles a lot, has really yep. good combo game. Um, it's just light and not a great character <laughs> but i just don't know much about shulk um to tell you if it's a good matchup or not but i personally hate playing against Kirby. he is a cute little guy though and he's kind of fun to play from time to time <laughs> mm -hmm. i i'm a bit of a kirby fan i do quite like kirby but I will i'm a say fan of him i just dislike playing against him but like i feel like everyone says that about like 90 percent of the cast so <laughs> That's the thing. There are so many characters in Smash that are not fun to play against, but I like them a lot from their own games. Like, Olimar has the worst rap in all of Smash Brothers. Pikmin is such a fun game, but I hate playing and fighting against Olimar. It's just unfortunate. It's like him and Yoshi. Because Yoshi's a chill dude. Yeah, oh, holding on. Oh! oh! 
Huge. That's brutal. So down B from the Kirby. Going to close out that stock. Really good edge guard tool there. Kirby at 78% here off stage. Shulk looking to find the kill. Has the smash on. I like this. 15%, you're in a very low chance of dying if you can get that other hit. I mean, he didn't, but I like the idea of what he's doing. No tech. Ooh. Gets covered with the dash tech. Up smash. Shulk this still in Kirby. disadvantage. This Kirby is relentless right now. Yes, Kirby's looking really solid. Honestly, it just makes Cruel's performance in game one even more impressive. Oh, absolutely. Um, oh. Ooh, that sucks. Shulk counter does not work very well. <laughs> <laughs> he would have needed to do, like, the backward variants, but it's hard to react to that. Yeah, both above 100% here. Rage online for both characters. Kirby looking to even it up for Indiana State, while Valpo is looking to retain this lead here. I don't like the lack of edge guard there. Kirby is a very big target, pretty easy to hit when he's just drifting out there. Yeah, his recovery like is something. very like kind of one-dimensional, I guess is the right word. Yeah, um, absolutely. And it's not like he has a ton of like vertical, horizontal movement. But yeah, great TI by um, JJ there. Going into the Buster mode, first time seeing it, I believe. Ooh, he's playing well, trying to get... Oh, Dash no. Tech will do it. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. I like I like what I saw. Yeah, Kirby playing solid there. Um, so now Valpo down to a one-stock advantage in game two. I'm um, curious who we're going to see next. I'm going to expect Mr. Golden Shroom. Uh, I'm praying for that Roy Hopefully, right now. Hopefully, yeah. We'd love to see uh, Mr. Golden Shroom get some play time here. Um been sticking around practicing tuning in watching our games i uh, got him on the roster here tonight so uh hopefully he gets a chance um with the captain of our necc team which is kind of our academy team here uh, on the smash program um but he's been playing really well this year um definitely a solid player no joke um and can hang with these guys for sure um like he he can take games from the varsity guys all the time and you know against indiana state like i feel very confident uh for him going in so I'd like to see him go in. We'll see who goes in right about now. And ah! it is going to be him. We love to see it. I'm so uh, hyped to see this Roy. The big question with him, kind of familiar to you, like you see the tag, you still have no idea what character is going That's in. That's fair. I pray for Roy, but he's yeah. got a pretty deep. It is Kirby, so you could see King DDD here. I honestly that, would not I would be love too that. surprised. I would love it. <laughs> Just a battle of the cute mascots. Uh, that's also acceptable. Again, I'm a Roy guy, but oh, 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 is he leading it? This is the most exciting part of the of the day so far. Oh, oh yes, oh, let's the D D Oh, I'm excited to see this. Yep. So uh, Valpo up 1-0 in um, their second match of the day. We are currently one and two, hoping to uh, bounce back and go two and two, finish out one and one on the day. Um, and yeah, kind of fight for that spot in playoffs slash seeding them playoffs. Um, but yeah, we're about halfway through the Missouri Valley Conference already. Feels like we just announced it, just joined it, and now we're halfway through the season here. Um, after spring break, it really feels <laughs> downhill for esports. It just match after match, and like it, it's starting to yep. wind down a little bit, um, especially with the two week break of no games. We rescheduled a lot of the games before spring break. Mm -hmm. um, for a majority of the teams, including Smash. Um, but still got a full uh, docket this week. We got NECC playoffs Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then we have a full day of Gleck on Saturday. Jesus Christ. The, the grind You're, you're never only ends. playing Saturday. <laughs> I, I know, but the grind never ends. Yep. Grind doesn't stop here, except for uh, spring break <laughs> and summer. <laughs> Well, to be fair, yes, yeah, so summer permanently ends it for me. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to watch this. I, I haven't gotten to see Spencer play in a while if it's not against one of us. And the biggest thing about Spencer is that he has just this ability sometimes to just turn into the best player in the room. He can't always do it and is not super consistent. But when I've seen him playing well... I, it genuinely doesn't look like anybody could beat him. I feel like that kind of accurately describes me. Just like only like once in a blue moon that I like play well. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, when you play well, 
yeah, kind of sucks. <laughs> it's a, a lot of work. Ooh, so far this Kirby's putting in some work, though. Ooh. Nice grab. So this matchup, um, definitely Kirby favorite. I'd probably say 95-5. But, <laughs> 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 no, it's definitely Kirby favored. Um, you know, oh, the four tilt back. Very you know, precise. This Kirby, uh, you know, didn't look too hot in game one, but is looking extremely good in game two here. He's playing pretty well right now, and I... Yeah. It's like what you said, that really is a testament to what Cruel did with the K rule, but. Yeah. We got another heavy on screen, so if we can see Spencer kind of heat up a little bit, get one or two more hits, that could be big. Yeah, but the reason this matchup is bad is because he's a heavy, he's combo food for Kirby. Kirby has a really good combo game. Um, but like you see right now, uh, King DDD does have a reach and lives a really long time, Woo! and he will find they kill on the roll with up smash. <laughs> And that's the heavy paradox. You lose it for 80% of the match, and then you get the kill first. Yep. Only every, one neutral one. Every single we'll time. We'll see the down B and gets Ooh. caught by it. I, I saw like that, that one coming from a mile away. Yeah, I mean, it's tough to avoid. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Especially on a character with such a linear recovery like Dedede. Yeah, I mean, he has slow drift, too. So by the time you notice it, it's tough to get out of the way. Um, mm hmm. Oh, oh my god! Oh. <laughs> I love watching Spencer play. I love watching him play so much. Huge That's... forward smash there. Finds the roll read on the ledge get up. And we're having a good time here at the Valpo Esports Center. Oh my goodness. What a brutal read. Yeah. <laughs> that was incredible. But um... uh, Valpo up 8-6 to six here. Um, going to see who he's sending next. There is always the potential that someone comes back here and calls you. But so far, I haven't heard anything. So yeah, I, think we're I was going to say, we need Spencer to get eliminated first to see if I get to go Mario. Oh. <laughs> it's been a long day. Yeah, Spencer still has two stocks. Yeah, we're still waiting. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I thought we were switching. But uh, <laughs> day after a two-week spring break, uh, you know, guy here at 7 a.m. started grinding. I was doing homework. I wasn't working the whole time. But, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, it's, it's been a long day trying to readjust um, to the uh, – Crazy days at the esports center, but excited to be mm -hmm. here. Um, yeah, Smash is always fun to watch, so can't I do complain. enjoy. I enjoy watching Smash. I uh, I don't enjoy watching competitive tournaments as much anymore. I still enjoy watching our stream versus a bunch of guys, and then the tournament this weekend, Collision. I heard there were a lot of good sets there. Watched a little bit. I watched a couple games. So I watched. Uh, Couple games of Spargo. I forget who else I was watching. Mhm. Mm was it like uh, was it one of the guys in top eight like Mute Shattuck? I watched Mute lose to someone. <laughs> that to doesn't help at all. That's the thing. I'm trying to remember who. Beat I don't know. Mute. It was it was on late last night. Just turned it on. Um, yeah. Entertaining yeah. to watch, but I mean nothing beats getting to watch our players play. To be exactly. honest. Exactly. Like Gleck Land watching like even other schools that we played against play against other schools is like so <laughs> awesome. Um. But yeah, King DDD going to drop a stock here. And we'll get started off on this one. This Terry had some combos, unfortunately. Did get two or three stocked by uh, Cruel in game one. But definitely knows what he's doing. Got the jab combo into the down B slash input move. I forget what it's called. Power dunk. Oh, there you go. This is probably the uh, their player Ooh, that I'm the most worried kill. about. Is he dead? Huge. That was insane. Completely swinging the tides of that one, finding three forward airs, going all the way out for that one. Watching Spencer Dude, play you is Dude, commentator like... cursed their team again. Ever since you said you're worried about it, I do not think he's gotten a hit. Watching like... Spencer play is like drugs, honestly. Like, this is just... <clears throat> you do not need any substance when Spencer is on the screen. That's all I'm saying. Spencer is definitely a fun player to watch. Um, even up here in percent... Only a minute into this one. Got a slugfest here. This is only a minute in? Oh my god. Yeah. This is going fast. Terry and Gomo going to want to close out the stock if possible. We'll see what inputs he's got in his back pocket here. <laughs> he's trying to go for it. Oh, I saw I it. Saw, I saw him going back and forth. He was trying to get the input in. Oh, gets the are you okay in. Spencer's shot. Oh! oh! He parried it! <laughs> That's crazy. I have never <laughs> seen that. He's so good. Oh, no. Oh, that's a nasty read, though. And we are all even up 
last stock for both players here. You know what the funniest part about this is? You know Spencer is loving this fast-paced gameplay. He oh, lives yeah. for this. <laughs> like, he is not about camping. He's not about waiting in neutral. He wants an all-out slugfest, and it's beautiful. Oh, oh my god! Spencer able to take down yet another player. Valpo extending the lead to four stocks here. We'll see who Indiana State's last player here is. And you might not get a chance to play here if uh, uh, Spencer's able to keep this up. I was so excited to pull out my pocket Mario. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> that, but yeah. is, that was a disgusting match. Oh, my God. They were swinging for the fences. Yeah. I, I love watching heavies play. Um and I love just watching forward smashes. <laughs> Smash stacks. <laughs> How many kills is that today? <laughs> is that two forward smash kills or three? Because he's getting them all. For sure, too. It, it feels like he's getting a decent yeah. bit of these reads. Well, both forward smashes closing out the game um, against the Kirby and against the Terry there. Um, but yeah, Valpo looking in a great position to finish off the day with a win. Mm -hmm. Um Finish up on top, uh, and that would put us at two and two, while Indiana State would fall to one and three. But we still have three socks left for Indiana State, so don't want to speak yep. too soon here. Don't want to cast his curse. <laughs> Let's not cast his curse our own guys. <laughs> if I don't have to go play, that's always the preferred outcome. <laughs> Where are we going to? Smashville. Smashville. All right. Now, who are we seeing on the screen? Oh, Any minute might now. have switched a little too early. Oh, Dr. we'll get the Dr. Mario. Mario. He's back. All right, let's see it. Did he switch his tag this time? That's mean. Sorry. <laughs> That's a bit rude. I want to see Spencer get something crazy on him. Doc has such an exploitable recovery. If we can get the forward air train again, oh, I'm going to love yeah. it. I'm looking forward to that. Bye, DTD. All right, here we go. Watch out for the cape here right off the bat. Oh! oh. <laughs> Gotta watch out for the pill, apparently. <laughs> Ooh. All right. I can't believe that tiny pill just, like, absolutely slings that spike, massive spike ball. It's kind of crazy. Do you ever think about how much better of a character d d would be if his Gordo had Piranha Plant's properties? Like, of the... Uh, oh, yeah. Where you just can't reflect it and it's even stronger. That'd be insane. DDD would be at least high tier. That'd be fun to see like a S tier DDD. Maybe <laughs> the next Smash game. They're never making DDD good. It's a sad fate. Dude, just give him like Brawl uh, Meta Knight frame data. <laughs> oh, is he dead? Oh, oh wow. Great read. Landing with that up B. Not a safe option and gets punished for it. A sign of life from the dock. Yeah, so... Bringing it down to a three-stock advantage. Doc looking pretty solid. And to be honest, once he, like, got his control switched over and played that, like, um, mm -hmm. actually played the match, like, he was looking pretty solid. Oh, absolutely. Um, so, yeah, three-stock advantage here for Valpo. Um, got a couple options who to send in next. Um, so far, we've seen Mr. Golden Shroom and JJ. I think that's his tag. That's what sure, why with. not? <laughs> uh, well, I saw him put in the, uh, like, who we were sending in, JJ. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, yeah, I guess we'll take a peek. They're probably debating it right now. Fitz Pyramithra. Oh, he's playing Pyramithra. Yeah. He was talking about playing a little bit of Inkling earlier, so. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Pithra pocket for Fitz here. Um, Fitz is the Pac-Man player on our collect team. Um, and also played Pac-Man all the way back in the first match of the game, game one yep. of match one, and haven't seen him since. But he's back <laughs> two, three hours later. Um, <laughs> Palutena's temple. <laughs> Pick it, Fitz. Pick it. Yes. I wish we could gentlemen to, like, goofy stages in this league. I know it makes no sense. It would never happen. But imagine if we got to play a competitive set on temple. Yep, so bands are Battlefield Town and PS2, and they selected Small Battlefield. So, sorry to disappoint. <laughs> oh, but at least Fitz gets his music. Yep. Incoming. Fitz a big Xenoblade fan, so gotta get the Xenoblade music out. But yeah, so Beacons on pace to take down the Sycamores. Mm-hmm. What are, what are Sycamores? I have no... Isn't that a tree? 
Yes. Sure, why not? All right, they're trees. <laughs> Good Indiana enough. State trees? No, I don't think that's it. Aw. Uh, we didn't get uh, Splatoon. Or not Splatoon. We got we didn't get Xenoblade. We got Mario maybe it's like Paint a, Medley. Maybe it's like a state tree or something. Oh, yeah, wait, maybe. I mean, we're the beacons, so like it's it's not like you have to be like some sort of like fighter, dude, character, or like animal, I guess. Um, but anyways, back to the match. Starting off three stocks, three stocks. Valpo overall up three stocks, though. Uh, pretty even so far. Uh, do you see an early switch to Pyra? Pyra has the uh, fire blade thing. Uh, Pyra method doesn't have a great recovery, but Pyra does have some great kill options. And then Mithra, a lot faster, has really good frame data and really good combo game. If I know anything about Fitz, if he does not feel like he has to play Mithra, he's not playing Mithra. He is a big Pyra fan. That's how he prefers to play the game, and I can't really fault him. Oh! Ooh, close. I forgot this was ultimate for a second, and you can grab the ledge, like, behind you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was dude. Up, upbeat, not going to hit again out of shield. Both characters at high percent here, both with rage. Do you get the switch to Mithra? Interesting. Yeah, kind of, like, opposite. You see Pyra off the gate, and then close He's it out, we got Mithra. But yeah, upbeat, reverse upbeat. We'll do it this time. So Valpo down to a two-stock lead here. Doc with Rage, gotta watch out. At this percentage, he'll be fine, but two or three hits later could be real dangerous for Fitz if he doesn't <laughs> seal this kill out. Yeah, Doc does have some crazy kill power. Um, Pyra having a tough time finding the uh, closing hit here. Mm -hmm. Up tilt will do it. <laughs> Up tilt will connect, not will do it. There we Force go! <laughs> Alright, we Two got stocks a kill piece here. I really think Fitz might need to switch to the Mithra here. His Pyra's just getting oppressed. Yeah, oh. Ooh, big magnet hands. Yeah, able to find the snap to the ledge. Ford Tilt gonna find a little percent here. This Doc's patience, honestly, very impressive. He's playing this really smart. He's just sitting back, waiting, getting good ledge traps, using the pills as he can. Oh, Fitz, I don't like that. Alive still. Good. Oh, he's dead. Oh, snap. We got a game. And Doc, you know, if Indiana State wants to have a chance at this one, it's going to be um, Dr. Mara's got to take this stock now. Mm-hmm. He needs to get something big, try and keep this stock if he wants to do anything right now. Yeah, Valpo only with a two-stock advantage now at even percent. So definitely doable for Dr. Mario here. Oh, absolutely. Catch with the side B, though, which is big. Oh, looks for a massive forward smash. Twice, actually. Fitz, Gotta Fitz look loves for the it big again. hits. Gotta look for it again. All right, getting the forward air. Looking for a ledge trap, presumably. No grab. Thought for sure that was coming out. Dr. Mario with the dash tech. Low profiles that uh, attack from Pyra. Ooh. Oh, forward smash barely misses. That would have done it. That's a big spot dodge. All right, Fitz. Calm connect. down, buddy. <laughs> Calm down, buddy. <laughs> Ooh, I was scared of the uppie. This Doc playing very slow right now, trying to bait Fitz in. You can really see it. Ooh, goes for that uppie a little early off shield. Goes for the downer. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, he's not smash. dead. Not quite going to do it. Oh, the downer. Oh. oh, he threw his sword away. Oh, no way! Oh, He's God. dead! Oh, no! Holy moly. What did I just see? That's crazy. So, Valpo only with a one-stock lead here. Got to be careful. Curious who we're going to send in next. I swear to God, it better be Josh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we if I'm the coach or captain here, I'm sending in Josh or Chris right now. Um... Just to try and avoid a game uh, three here. An um, unnecessary game three. Yeah. Hey, no, it's a great opportunity to get some players in, get some players some playing time. Um, but we'll be right back.
Whew. All right, we are back. So Chris still in the booth with me. We got Pizza yep. Man, captain of our Gleck team, coming in here. Looking to close this one out. Indiana State clawing back here. Um, only a one-stock deficit, so definitely doable for them. Absolutely. You know, yeah, we do have the up. omen of surprise here. Probably were expecting the King K rule, but are going to get the Rob instead. Good up B trade. That does make you wonder if they thought Ben was our best player. Because that's the best one they've seen. Oh, uh, I definitely do, yeah. And then it's like, oh, okay, we've got a Rob now. Sure, why not? <laughs> oh, nice forward smash. Good job saving that jump there. Great recovery by the Dr. Mario. Not able to find the two frames. This Doc is recovering well, and Josh is missing these down airs, man. It's unfortunate. Oh, does get the uh, little step back forward smash. Big kill. Getting, getting close to evening out the percents, although Doc pulling away again. Ooh, I like the read. Forward smash just missing there. Nice. Rob's forward tilt is so big and I always forget that. Like he's really got some range with those robo arms. Josh looks like he's trying to, I don't know what he's trying to do. It seems like he's just trying to get the big move at this point. I don't think he's going for anything fancy. Just trying to see. Oh yeah, he's just getting the job done. Yeah, no, <clears throat> no combos, mean... no nothing. He's just trying to get that big back air up air and finish this out. Yep. Doc still just clawing for his life right now, not giving anything up. Oh. Oh, no. Had the up smash, wasn't able to find it. <laughs> he had oh, the gyro. he threw the gyro. He had oh. the gyro. <clears throat> that was the worst timing ever. Yeah, he's had some bad timing uh, today, especially with that crown pickup, too, earlier in the. <laughs> Don't even smash. mention it. That crown Doc broke my heart. Is oh, dead, he's though. dead. Yep. Josh going Maybe for the it. disrespect and missing. <laughs> Yeah, but Josh able to uh, finish it up, clean it up with a three stock. Ooh. So that means Valpo will take it 2-0 here. Just a little, little scary at the end there, yeah. but Josh cleaned it up very nicely, very professionally. Got yep. that wrapped up. Yeah, shout out to Indiana State. Uh, definitely playing solid in game two there. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, Valpo going to uh, end the day 2-2 two two overall in the Missouri Valley Conference. Um, and we will be back with more Smash Saturday at 9 for a big game versus Bethel. Um, and then Oof. more this week, we have um, NECC playoffs at 7 on Wednesday, at 7 on nice. Thursday, at 7 on Friday. Um, nice. And then we got a full day on Saturday. Um, but we'll be off tomorrow, and uh, we'll see you guys then. Thanks for tuning in, and it's been a pleasure. My name is Henry Speedy Kill Ninja. And I'm Chris. See you guys later.